Okay, well, I'm going to walk around and show you beginnings of my garden. These little guys, I do believe these are Cosmos. And these... Uh, I can't remember what's in there. But I thought I'd show you guys my yard. And so you know, this is, we've been here for about four years now. Still working on a few things. We both got vans now. Our porch is finished with a new travel trailer. Um, this right here is a new project I'm working on. Any ideas would be really grateful. I'm trying to make another bird stand, a little bird thing. I've got a redo this piece right here I gotta come up with something else because the bamboo is just not holding up but as you can see I've started it base to top and plan to put something up here in the middle just not quite sure yet what and over here unfortunately is our big mud hole in the yard but I do have lavenders growing there's my baby lavender and there's another baby lavender. They'll take time to grow. But hopefully they'll turn out just as good as my other ones that I have. Um, there's Gordo. Gordo, get back on the porch! And this rose bush here. My husband brought home one year. It's had a few roses. Not much. We even had one bloom in the winter time. Showing new beginnings are to be come forth. As I got a baby mint growing right here. Kind of on his own right now, but he's got little ones in there growing. These are our irises. They're kind of tough to grow. How long did mom say irises take to actually bloom flowers? Two to three years. Two to three years, and we've had them for how long? Two? They should bloom this year, if not next year. These are my little projects. I gotta fix a lot of my projects that I've had out here. Uh, kind of the weathering. This is one of the birdhouses I have not yet finished yet, but will. There's a little fancy Skagit County rock collection so far. We haven't really been out to do anything else, but they kind of slowed down on the Skagit County Rocks page. Ah, uh, there's another one of our collections. Not from Skagit. Along with this one. And these over here are our Snapdragons, which return following years but we've had these for a couple years now and they've actually returned each and every year I'm growing little baby trees here they're maple I, I think but they've sprouted their roots this is the first bird tower I put up I don't know how much of that you guys can see but I'm in the midst of rearranging, getting new stuff out. That's why I'm making the wooden one I previously showed you. This is a Spanish lavender. These are baby lavenders, rooting to grow. And in my centerpiece here, I've got rhubarb growing. It's very hard to tell right now, but it's rhubarb. There's another little project of mine. I'm going to repaint that so it looks better. And this is an English lavender. I had to trim down because it was had bad stems and dying branches. This is our little Italian pine that's growing still, amazingly enough. Then we have chicken hens. Different types of plants. 
these are another baby trees and these are my hummingbird feeders I make my own homemade hummingbird sugar water I, I guess you could say I make it myself and if I remember I will actually mark down put in this video if I remember correctly the recipe for that and here are our other irises some of them are tiny some of them uh, hey there's Chinese irises and what else uh, Japanese irises. oh excuse me Japanese irises Oh yes, this, we do have peonies is growing. They're finally coming back this year. A lot of people really like them, I guess. But at some point, I'll grow my garden more and more so I can sell babies off to other people who want them. This is a different type of plant. It's a succulent, of course. <laughs> really weird one. It's another one of my projects I did a couple years ago. It's kind of faded, so I used it as a garden decoration. Just some other stuff I've done. My daughter's helped me decorate some of it. These are my strawberries, which actually survived the winter, are coming back. This is a special plant given to me by my our Aunt Doretta. She, it's a six-year-old plant and it's chocolate mint I had to trim down the dead one so all these little babies can come out I make my own teas from them and up here I have a mixture of herbs which I do need to water again and these guys I'm not sure if they're gonna sprout anything but there's one and that is a special covered, colored maple. I'm not sure if it's going to grow or not, but hopefully it will. Um, I'm kind of messed up here, but this is my shop. I do my woodworks in and whatnot. I kind of need some uh, fixing up, straightening up. Other than that, we keep some of our tools here. The only problem we have is financially money, you know, but... We make ends meet like we're supposed to. And it's just hard these times. This it's like someone threw a can of veggies in my fern. These are medicinal ferns. I will be planting them right here is where they sit. As soon as I get the right tool for it. There's a specific tool I want to use. And of course our wood pile, our shed. Now this right here was part of, I do believe I placed a storm video of what happened to our shed. And this is how we've been able to manage to put it back up for now. This is the other side of our porch. There's my sweetie, say hi! <laughs> Anyways, so I still got a lot to do. Here's some special rare tulips growing. Can't wait to see what colors are going to be. They were given to us by a client of his that he works for. He does lawn maintenance. And this over here is a blueberry. Takes a few years for these guys to sprout more stuff. But it's, it's gathering its pieces again and coming out. And that is Mojito Mint, I think. Yeah, I think that's mojito mint, if I'm not mistaken. I could be saying it wrong. But here are my newest dream catchers I've made. That one's a Valentine's one, which also represents fire. And we've got one here, which represents earth. You got the little buffalo in the middle that represents earth signifying and it's green and brown this one is just a beautiful one that I did 
I haven't really put a name to that one. But I do sell and I make dream catchers. This one is my favorite so far. This one is the longest one I have done. I still have a few things I need to do to it. But let's see if we can turn this thing around. It's supposed to be facing that way. There we go. There's the bottom one, that one. These ones are supposed to represent at least three seasons of the year. That one, of course, winter. And that one with green is spring. But that's the three tier dream catcher I've made so far. And I still got to put feathers on the third one right here. But I made it myself. And here's another piece of my garden as I've got cat nip growing. I've got aloe vera, and I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in that one yet, but something will come into mind. Then I've got more of Mojo, Mojito mint growing right here. And I can't remember what I put in that one. I guess we'll find out later. And this one represents Moon Dream Catcher. It's blue and black. This is the one my sister loved a lot. And it is turned around. Honey, can you come here for a second? What? This needs to be turned around. It's backwards. That one, it's kind of backwards. It needs to come, well, yeah, that'll work. And see, it's got the stars in the middle. Got blue and black feathers to represent the moon. me. My husband was out working about a week or two ago and found us two empty bird nests unoccupied. Doesn't look like they've been lived in for a while so we kept them. There's that one. Here's number two. And here's number two. It hadn't really been used. It was just put together. I don't know why they didn't use it but we kept this one too because, well, there's no sign of life in it, so made sure we weren't disturbing anything. It was over on the evergreen tree over by the uh, cabin over there. Cool. Really close to the. Where'd you find the second, the uh, first one? I think in uh, other tree branches around from back over here by the creek. Ah. Cool. And I'm walking all over my cat's pen. Oops. <laughs> this is our porch that we worked really hard to get together. We still have a few issues here and there, but we'll eventually fix them. And here's the other dream catchers that we have. Uh, this one my daughter gave me, and that one I made, and my honey wanted to keep it, so I gave it to him because he liked it. It's a little bit old, worn out. I gotta redo a few things on it. And here is an old-fashioned cigarette butt ashtray uh, that was used back in the old days, carried around by soldiers or. Oh, it was a little trinket thing I think Ron got from overseas. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this little doohickey here, we haven't really used it, but it came from overseas. It's an older styled ashtray they don't make anymore. Uh, we also got older styled oil lamps. And there's my obsidian. The big huge rock there. And these round wood pieces were made into decorations. Um, I think there's supposed to be a rose growing out of this one, but I'm not sure. But there's supposed to be a blue rose coming out of that one. And of course, my little trinkets. And this 
is the big wooden table my sweetie brought home from another one of his clients that we use very much and we love it and I take care of it and we got like a big old dragon on it and stones that I've collected and we got these are called dragon jars Jeremy's mom made them for us a few years ago they're pretty cool I like them And then there's this guy. It's a little bit different. But, there's our little table. Here's the stone that me and my daughter Ashley found in Walker Valley. And she got the other half of it. It was a very big geo. But she got the other half. Here's another one of my strange looking stones I have. I can't remember. Some of these came from one of his clients. And of course our cabinet of goods. 